Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa and in this video I'm going to explain how I get my reference photos onto my art paper ready to start the colouring process. In the description below I'll put a list of any of the apps that I use including where I get the reference photos and any other information you'd like to know. So for all of these pieces here I do have videos on my channel of how these were completed so make sure to check them out if you're interested. Remember to like and subscribe and let's get started. So to begin with, the tablet that I'm using is a Samsung Galaxy tablet. It doesn't really matter, you can use an iPad, anything like that. I do just recommend that you use one with a stylus so that you have the pen. So then you can go into your app store and download a couple of different reference photo apps. So there's Pixels that I like to use and also this one that I'm using now is Pixabay. So you go in, search for any pictures that you want. All of these are royalty free so you can use any of these without having to pay anything. So then when you have the image that you want to use, you go and download it and access it in your gallery. Once you go into the gallery, you can open it in a photo editing app. So the app that I use is called Sketchbook. It doesn't matter, again, which program that you use, any that you can sort of make a mask over the piece so that you can draw on the top of it and have it as an outline is going to work. But this is the one that I use. It is free. I don't pay anything for this. So once you have the image open, ready to go, what you need to do is create a layer over the top. So I click the little plus sign at the top right and that will create a mask over the top. So it's sort of like putting tracing paper over the top of the piece. Then I make the reference photo a little bit lighter just so I can see the black pen going over the top of the piece. And then you can start to draw the outline. So I just make sure that I put in most of the shapes that I can see. The good thing about using this tablet is that you can sort of pinch the screen with two hands. It'll move the image around. You can make it bigger and smaller. You can change the size of the pen and the color of the pen, making it thinner or thicker, depending on you know your preferences and how you usually do your outlines. You can also turn on and off the reference photo and turn on and off the outline layer so that you can see the full piece and make sure that you're not missing any of the small details on the animal. Then at the end you can turn off the reference photo and see the full outline. And once you're happy with everything what I usually do is save it onto the tablet and then just email it to myself. So to print it out I usually put it in Word so I can see the ruler on the side of Word and make sure that I'm getting the right size for the piece. One thing that you need to remember to do before you print the image is to reverse the image. So once you print it out, then it needs to be the reverse image of what you want to use because then you're going to use your tracing paper to trace over it and then you're going to flip the tracing paper over onto your art paper, scribble on the back, and if you don't reverse the image, once you put it on the paper, it will be the reversed image. So you need to make sure that you're reversing it either sort of now in this program or before you print it in Word. So you can just do a rotation. So once you've completed the outline and you're happy with everything, what I usually do is just email it to myself because I don't have the ability to be able to print from my tablet. So I will email it to myself and then use my laptop to print the image. Like I said, I usually use Word so that I can see the ruler on the side and what size it needs to be. And remember to reverse the image again as well. So now that I have printed out my piece and I'm happy with the way that it's looking and the size of it, I put some tracing paper over the image, tape it on just to make sure that it's not going to move and you're not getting random lines everywhere. And then you can just start to outline the piece and draw over it the same as you did when you're in the program. The pencil that I usually use is just like a HB or a 2B pencil, nothing too dark. And as I'm going through, I can lift up the page just to make sure that I'm doing the outline correctly. And at the end, checking that I haven't missed any of the lines. This part can be a little bit tedious, but making sure that you get all of the details will make it easier for you to color in the future. And so again, I'll explain the rotated image. So make sure that at this point, the image is the opposite image of what you want to use. So when we pick up the tracing paper, we're just going to turn it over, put it onto the art paper and then scribble on the back. So if you have the 
normal image at this point, you're going to have to flip it over, draw it again, and then flip it over and scribble on the back. So you're just going to have to draw it a couple more times to make sure that you're getting the image the correct way, if it isn't the reversed image at this point. So once you've put in all the details, you can sort of lift up the tracing paper to see if you've missed any lines and make sure that you have all of the details in there. So this is when we can put the traced outline onto the art paper or wherever you're going to complete your final piece with either paint or color pencils and even pan pastels as well. So make sure when you're picking your piece of paper, you're thinking about framing, how the big the frame is going to be, where the image will sit on the page as well. So you don't want to complete a whole piece and then realize that you've put it off center or um, the frame is too small or too big. So make sure to think about this at the start. Then just tape the image onto the page with the graphite facing down. And then just use an old pencil that you clearly don't use very often or one that you don't mind wasting. And then start to scribble on the back. You can go over each line individually, but scribbling over the whole thing is a little bit faster. You can lift up the page as you go just to check that the graphite is going onto the art paper, but just go over the whole image and make sure that you don't miss any of the lines. Once that's all done, you'll have a beautiful faint outline to color your piece. So the next thing that I do is just go around with some washi tape or a Scotch magic tape. So you just want to find a tape that doesn't stick to the paper and pull the paper up when you take it off. Putting a border with tape around the piece will ensure that when you rip up the tape, there's a nice crisp edge and it looks a little bit more professional when you're presenting a piece to a client. So I hope that this video has been helpful and some of these tips and hints have helped you out. Remember to like and subscribe and if you would like to see the full horse video, remember to check out my other video explaining the process. I'll catch you in the next video. Keep drawing. Thanks guys.